Hey guys, this is Tuesday, August the 8th. I'm back down here in Maysville, Kentucky, getting ready to do a little coon hunting. This is my woman, Amanda. It is uh, 10.08 at night. We're about to make our first turn out. I'm about to get Molly out and turn her loose. Try to tree some coons up. I'm letting my Dr. Pathfinder collars turn on here and I'm gonna put them on her and we're gonna try to get a coon treat up. You ready? I'm ready. Amanda's using a Boss Hot Spot from Kevin Rainwater and I've got the Bright Eyes Reaper, Ray Conrad. Let's get the dogs out and try to tree a coon. There's Molly on the Pathfinder. She just struck in at 73 yards. There she is running. You can probably hear. Molly's now 137 yards. She hasn't treed yet, but uh, she's heading over to a bunch of cedar trees, which I don't like. But I do have a coon tunes coon squalor, so I should be okay. She's running down the edge of that cornfield. Right at 209 yards now, 211. Well guys, she just treed 170 some yards. We're gonna head in there to her. We're walking along this field here. She's treed on. And she's sure sounding good. It's rough in here where she's at. There she is. Made it down here to her. Where's it at, Molly? Where's it at, Molly? Well, we're gonna back up here and see if we can locate the coon. Well, Amanda found the coon. I was down there squalling. She found it and looked at her. There's his body in the middle of the camera. Might as well get Molly and go. Molly done a good job there. I headed back toward the truck. There's a lot more hunting in here. I may go over and turn loose another spot here. See if she can tree one more up. Right down there's Molly. I just Got her turn loose again. Molly's uh, 86 yards, 90 yards now. She uh, ain't struck in or nothing yet, but hope she gets one lined out here soon. Me and Amanda sat down here to wait on Molly to open up. She's about 285 yards. Sit here and I went and got us a bottle of water out of the truck. We're burning up. You having fun? Yeah. Good. Found that coon, didn't you? Yeah. Molly just opened up at uh, 287 yards. See if y'all can hear. There she is. Molly's 284 and treed. You see her right there on the Pathfinder app. Showing her treating and barking. Well, here's where me and Amanda are standing. Where it says me. I'm gonna walk out this field. Molly's treed right down there in that patch of timber. Amanda's got some damn snake chaps on. They're made for me. She's got them rolled up. Gonna have to get her, her own pair. You having fun? Yeah. Always doing a good job, ain't she? Yeah, she is. She's a good dog. Well, we made it to the end of that field to the patch of timber. And on down this road, where this 
path going down this hill. Should be a doze road. Of course, it was last time I was here. Look at this. Right in a patch of cedar trees. Well, I'm going to get back and blow this squaller and see if I can find it. I've been around trying to squall. You can't get a light in the tree. There's trees all around it. I'll just soon get her and get out of here. I'm getting ready to get a collar on Ranger here. I'll turn Ranger and Molly loose from in there. They don't shoot through the country. Yes, it's always a good thing when you're coon hunting to make sure you keep some good germex with you. I like this uh, morning fresh kind. Like I said before, I recommend two squirts. You ready to eat snacks, chew snuff, whatever you want to do. Molly's 208 yards, Ranger's 191. I just started her open up. Right there it shows her barking. There's Ranger, he just opened up at 255 yards. Well the dogs are crossing paths here. Hopefully they get together and tree on the same tree. They're straight in front of my phone there. I don't know if you can hear them. Here, Molly. You can see the dogs down there on the creek. I zoomed out on the terrain view to show you how neat it was. Right there, you know, it shows the creek and the hills and the ridges. And that's one of the neatest things I ever seen on this doctor. As you can see behind me there, it's a full moon tonight. Ranger and Molly both in there running together. Well, the dogs just treed a little over six tenths of a mile away. I think I can drive a little closer to them and park my truck and try to make this a little easier. It's pretty rough the way they went, so we're pulling out of this place we turned loose at. I'm going to go try to get into them. Well, we're walking to the dogs. Got over here. This is the same distance from this way as the other way. The only difference is this is a big field and we're not going to walk through much woods, I don't think. Well, we're about a hundred yards from them now. We just made it to the wood line. I'm going to back up here and see if I can find it. 
This tree splits out there, runs up to that tree to the left, runs all the way out here into this mess. Well, I've squalled and squalled and squalled and there's just too much to shine, it ain't looking. You can't find them all. I just soon get them and get out of here. Well, we just got Molly and Ranger loaded back up in the truck. I've had enough. I got to work in the morning. I should already have been home. But when you get out here and start having fun, you're just having fun. You got to keep on hunting. You have fun? I did. We made three trees and uh, the Dr. Pathfinder worked good. Bright Eyes Reaper done good. Boss Hot Spot. Everything done fantastic tonight. The dogs. I have had a, a great time. I'm going to head on back down the road. Go ahead and put them on the wood. Till next time, put them on the wood.